Okay, welcome back, everybody. We're joined now by a good friend of mine uh, uh, the, out of the program. Her name is Maria Espinosa, founder of the Remembrance Project. She's also running for the 7th Congressional District in the great state of Texas. Maria, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me on, Chris. Uh, for folks who may not know what the Remembrance Project is, give them a primer. Tell them what it is, why you founded the organization, and why it was so needed. Oh, absolutely. The Remembrance Project was created in 2009 because of the killings of innocent Americans all across the United States by people who shouldn't be here in the first place. And as you saw the angel moms and dads on stage since 2015 with candidate Trump, you know, that's our organization, Chris, because no one else was listening to the pain and suffering of our families. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you and your organization were instrumental in creating Voice, which for the first time after decades, Democrats and, to be fair, Republicans ignored Americans who were slaughtered by illegal aliens who should never have been here to begin with. And for the first time, President Trump gave those families who have been in pain, Democrats didn't care, gave them a voice. Exactly. And we started right here in Houston, Texas, after the killing of Officer Henry Canales and Rodney Johnson. And, you know, subsequently there were five Houston police officers who were killed all by illegal aliens. Absolutely incredible. Well, that leads me into this story that our buddies over at Judicial Watch discovered. And I, I got to tell you, I was just astonished by what they showed me. This is, uh, this is out of Laguna Beach, California. There was an illegal alien who was, who was arrested on DUI, DWI, driving under the influence, driving while intoxicated, depending on what part of the country and how your statute is written. This individual was detained for ICE, which you would expect any good law enforcement official to do because he was in the country illegally. Because he was detained... The, the state of California said, no, naughty, naughty to all the, uh, the law enforcement officers, said he should never have been detained, should never have been, I should never have been tipped off. And they gave the DUI illegal alien $19,000 in restitution because he was Ill, improperly detained. Can you react to that for me? It's unbelievable. And it's absolutely. Absolutely disgusting, Chris, because here you have this individual was under a DACA. This is the Obama amnesty, the unconstitutional amnesty that we at the Remembrance Project have been fighting. In fact, we filed an amicus brief, you know, opposing his unconstitutional amnesty. But here this individual is above the law. They're untouchable here in the United States, Chris. And this is absolutely the kind of information that we need out there. And thank God for Judicial Watch, because otherwise... Americans, average Americans would not hear about this. And the, those police officers were doing their duty. They were paid by the taxpayers to keep their community safe. And yet the state of California, again, sides with the perpetrator, not the, yeah. you know, the safety of the community. This is the danger of sanctuary cities, the dangers of sanctuary city policies. And it seems to me that they out there in California are putting in this case, illegal alien drunk drivers ahead of public safety. Am I wrong? You're absolutely correct. And I tell you what, you know, sanctuary city policies, we've been fighting for over 10 years. And when we learned about the sanctuary city policies in Houston, we activated. We're just two normal people, my husband and myself, and we activated. But here you can see that the challenge that we have as Americans for simply having the existing laws to be enforced. And that's a big reason why I'm running for Congress here in CD7, Chris. Yeah, and, and, and again, I can't thank you enough for all the work that you have done on this particular issue. And by the way, for all of you folks out there who might be liberals, who might, uh, Espinosa and Salcedo, we're not Irish, we're liberty-loving Latinos who are for law enforcement. And, and by the that's way, right. let, me just, let me just ask you, if I can, Maria, because where is Mothers Against Drunk Drivers? Where is MAD? Right. They used to be the premier organization around this country that said, you know what, getting behind the wheel, driving drunk and putting the public at risk and killing folks is terrible, except I guess now it's okay for illegal aliens to do it? Oh, exactly. We reached out to MAD as well 
But obviously, Chris, you know, we're at a time now in our country where we have to support good law, support our families, place them first. And that's exactly why, again, why I'm running and why I will continue to support this president and his America first agenda. Very important. Remember, we're just asking for the basics here. You know, enforce the laws, build the wall, secure our, our communities where we live, work and play so that our families and our businesses can thrive. Well, I, I think and all of America you, has a choice right now. Oh, go ahead. You yes, want to say and, something else? Go ahead. Yes. You know, and Chris, when is California and other sanctuary jurisdictions going to enforce the existing laws when an innocent American is killed, is murdered by someone who shouldn't be here? This is outrageous. And we should not wait until another innocent American has lost their lives because our politicians are unwilling to place our safety first. Our children do matter. Yeah. And that's what's important here. I, I think most Americans would oppose this Democrat socialist policy. Uh, most Americans say, hey, this is what you should do. If somebody is caught behind the, the wheel drinking and driving, they should have the full force of law brought upon them. And then if they're illegally in this country, they ought not be allowed to stay because they put American citizens at risk. But hey, when you live out in the People's Republic of California, they don't want to enforce the law. They want to pay illegal aliens 19 grand. Last thing I wanted to ask you, uh, you're running for Congress. And if you get there, you're going to have some influence over, over trade. I, I didn't want to let you go without letting you give your, your take on USMCA, which was signed in a ceremony today by the president of the United States. You're pretty happy with that? Well, I think there's some things that, that I would probably change. And I think also, Chris, right now, obviously, with what's going on with the illegal immigration and the fact that the Republicans have sat on their hands and not given this president the funds to complete the wall, you know, I think we have to look at immigration and all these visas. You know, and that's very important because we still have Americans who need these jobs, and that should be the priority as well. So I will continue looking at this, but you're right. In Congress, should I be elected with my primary, I will be a go-to person um, in Congress and also work with, you mentioned, one of our collaborators is Judicial Watch, you know, Texas Public Policy Foundation. Also, I'm on their Border Security Committee in D.C., um, you know, so I've done that work. And I have great connections in D.C., and I'll leverage those to get, you know, our policies that help American families first implemented. Maria Espinosa, everybody, uh, thank you so much for being here on The Chris Salcedo Show. It's always a pleasure. Still more to come, folks. Always more to the story when it comes to Democrat socialists. We take on the Bolton leak next on The Chris Salcedo Show.